Now I saw my lining already. That's what it look like. And next we are gonna sew the purse frame into the purse. Okay. And now you want your um, frame hinge right here to lie up with the uh, center of the bottom side of your bag. Okay. I hope it makes sense. I will show you. I will go slowly. So now you need marker or a piece of yarn. So I'm just going to use a piece of yarn to mark it. So this is the center of the bottom side of the bag. Right here. And, and I'm going to insert my hook right there. Okay. And then pass through the... Uh, frame hinge and bring the yarn out and then tie a knot just tie a untie knot so we can untie it later see that's what it look like oh one more thing when you sew your lining make sure you leave uh, enough stitch to sew uh, the bag into the purse frame here same there okay all right so we're gonna sew the other side exactly the same this is the center of the bottom side of the bag and then I'm gonna insert my hook right there and then go past the frame hinge and bring new piece of yarn and make a knot okay so this part is very very important make sure that uh, everything lie up perfect like uh, even around your back so I gonna mark into each corner so we have four corner here gonna light up oh sorry I'm gonna mark it <laughs> right there and then gonna mark it into that corner as well And then mark into this corner. And then the last corner right here. So that's what it looks like. Before we sew the purse frame into the purse, make sure one more time that your frame hinge lie up with your center of your bottom side of your back. <laughs> okay. So I bring my mono filament line and I'm going to use this to sew the back into the frame. Like I said, you can use whatever you like, but make sure it's strong enough to uh, hold your bag into the frame when you put a lot of stuff in there. So you don't want your purse to uh, broke. <laughs> okay, so I cut it about 40 inches. That's not going to be enough for the whole bag. That is just half of the bag. 
because if I cut like so long to sew the whole bag, it'll be very difficult to sew. So I untie my marker on this corner because it's easier for you guys to see. So you see the marker on the frame hinge right there. We're gonna count from that stitch. Uh, uh, we're gonna skip two stitches after the marker and then insert into the third stitch right here. This is what I do mine. If you use different yarn or different frame, I will explain later. I insert into that stitch and then I gonna insert into the frame hole, the first hole. And bring it out. Leave a little bit of tail. And then I gonna insert back in. I hope you guys can see. So I insert into next hole of the frame. Okay? This is next hole here. Insert in there. Bring it up. And then I insert into next crochet stitch right here. And then I insert into the same hole of the frame, which is the second hole right there. And just bring it out. Just go through the fade, uh, sorry, the frame hole when you go out. And then when you go in, you're gonna go through the next frame hole and then the next crochet stitch when you insert from the outside to the inside. See, I'm gonna insert into the third hole of the frame. Okay. And then I'm gonna insert into the third crochet stitch. See, when you come from outside of your back, you're gonna insert into the frame and then insert into the crochet stitch. And then when you uh, come from inside of your back, you're just gonna insert into the frame hole, into the same stitch, which is the third hole. Okay? I hope this makes sense. See, I insert into the third hole. Okay? And then, now we outside, we are gonna go back inside. So we insert into the next hole of the frame, the fourth hole, right here. And then insert into the fourth crochet stitch. This is when we come back from the outside and then when, when we uh, go from the inside to the outside, we're going to insert into the frame hole, into the same stitch that we just come back from the outside, which is the fourth hole. See, we're going to keep doing that. So come back from outside, insert 
into the next hole of the frame and then insert into the next crochet stitch the fifth stitch. So now I want to talk about if you use different yarn or different purse frame okay so if you use bigger yarn your crochet stitches it'll be bigger than mine right now so you might need to insert into one crochet stitch and then insert in two holes of your frame i hope this makes sense <laughs> uh, yeah maybe every other three stitches or four stitches i'm not sure you have to make sure when you sew that you will end up where you mark the frame hinge just make sure that your back is even okay i'm just gonna explain uh, the corner part a little bit so sometimes some bag you need to insert into crochet stitch one stitch two times okay not every bag but this bag I do so I insert into next frame hole and then usually when we come from outside we insert into next frame hole and then insert into next crochet stitch right but in the corner I gonna insert into the same crochet stitch that we already insert uh, into see this is the same stitch sorry guys it's kind of difficult to see I try my best that is the same crochet stitch okay And then after that we're just gonna repeat the same thing insert into the same uh, frame hole just the frame hole when we come from inside to outside and then when we come back from outside to inside all we're gonna be the same insert into next frame hole and then insert into the next crochet stitch right here like I said you all might have to do different if you use different yarn okay all right so I just gonna repeat that insert into the same frame hole and then come back from outside you're gonna do the same next frame hole and then next crochet stitch and then when you come back from inside to outside you're gonna insert into the same frame hole you're gonna keep sewing that when you reach the other corner you're gonna do exactly the same that we did to the first corner which is insert into crochet stitch twice okay and then when you reach frame hinge you're gonna stop at two stitches before marker Okay, and then you're gonna start the other side exactly the same when we start this side. Uh, we just skip two stitches after the marker here. Start the same. Start the same and end the same. Okay, and basically, I want to have five crochet stitches on each frame hinge open that we're not gonna sew into. I hope it makes sense. 
Now I'm done sewing. And then, see, like I tell you earlier, I want five stitches on each frame hinge open. Right there. So, you are my BD friend. You don't have to follow me. I just want to tell you what uh, I did my. Okay, so next, I'm going to try to close this and see that my back uh, nice and even. It turned out pretty good, nice and even. I hope you have the same. Like I said, this part is really difficult. It takes a lot of practice. So it takes me a while <laughs> to figure it out. Sometimes I have to unsew and then start sew again over and over. I do that many times. But now I uh, figure it out already because I make a lot of this kind of handbag. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna hide this tail, two tail, so I'm gonna tie it together, but I'm gonna insert this tail into crochet stitches back and forth till I come to uh, the side, the other side, so I can reach the other tail and then we're going to sew it together. Just insert back and forth into each stitch. Okay, and then I'm gonna tie it together. I just tie a few times. And then I'm just going to insert into each stitch back to the other side. And I'm going to sew it. Sorry, I'm going to tie it together again. I always like to make sure that my project is secure, everything. Okay, I'm just going to sew back both of the tails. So difficult. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna tie those tails together. Just make sure it's secure, and then you can trim that, and you're done. And you're going to do exactly the same to the other side. Whatever you prefer to hide your ends and how to secure your. Just going to show you my pocket. <laughs> First, I'm thinking about sell this bag. But when it turned out, I love it so much. I love the color. I love the size. I love the style. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> And I just gonna put the stuff in that bag just to show you what it looks like. I think it's a perfect size. I'm just gonna bring my chain and put into that 
loop. You can wear like a clutch as well, or you can put a chain in, whatever you prefer. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I like this bag. Okay, I hope you enjoy making this project and let me know what I should do better. Like I said, guys, English is my second language and I try my best to explain. Sometimes it's a little hard. <laughs> And yeah, I hope you enjoy making this project and I would love to see your uh, bag as well. You can tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I will put all the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye bye.